today I want to show you how to unroot the Pixel and Pixel XL. Now lately I've been showing you how to install TWRP and how to gain root access. But doing this will prevent you from accepting an over-the-air update. And it will also prevent you from using applications like Android Pay, Pokemon Go, a lot of banking applications. Now this tutorial will not walk you through how to uninstall TWRP and if you've made any other root modifications like changing the build prop file again this tutorial will not walk you through that. This is just going to show you how to uninstall SuperSU and remove it completely. Now it would be nice if we could just tap and drag this app icon up to uninstall to completely get rid of SuperSU, but it doesn't work like that. Instead we need to tap on and launch the Super app, SuperSU application. And then we're going to need to swipe over to the settings tab. And there's two things I want to show you. First of all, I want to show you this enable super user option. Now, if you're just having trouble with a specific application, you might be able to get away with turning this feature off and then rebooting the phone and trying the application, depending on how that application detects that you have root access this method could work this will not work with Android Pay or Pokemon Go since they use safety net to, to, to detect this but it can work for some other applications now to completely unroot we need to scroll all the way down and we have this full unroot option right here so we're just going to tap on the full unroot option. We get a little dialog box that prompts up telling us that if this cleanup is succeeded, then root will be lost naturally. And this application, the SuperSU application, will close automatically after a few seconds. You'll then want to reboot your phone. And then it warns you that there are some custom kernels that will automatically reroute your phone once you boot back up. So unless you're using a custom kernel that has that feature, you don't need to worry about that. So we're just going to tap on continue. Then it asks us if we, if we want SuperSU to attempt to restore the stock boot image. Naturally, this is required if we want to accept an, o an over the air update. And then it says if you have manually decrypted your device, note that this might prevent your device from booting. So, again, unless you have manually decrypted your phone, you don't need to worry about that. So, just go ahead and tap on yes. And then, if you choose to restore the stock kernel, it will ask you if you want to restore the stock recovery image. This means that it will attempt to get rid of TWRP. So if you want to do that, you can tap on yes. I don't want to do that right now, so I'm just going to tap on no. So it's going to attempt to uninstall. And then as you can see, the application closed and the phone automatically rebooted. We're going to see this phone go through the typical boot animation sequence. And then it's going to take us back into the Android operating system right at the lock screen. So we're just going to unlock. 
And as you can see, the phone boots right back up. The Super SU application is gone, and we no longer have root access. Now again, this will work, and you'll be able to accept over-the-air updates if you have only made this modification to the phone. If you have TWRP installed, and you chose the no option like I did, you will not be able to accept over-the-air updates. If you chose the yes option and it was successful to return you back to the stock recovery, you could accept over-the-air updates if you haven't made any other changes. Now, if you have made other changes, such as editing the build prop file, installing exposed, or any of the other root modifications, you're going to need to revert those individually if you want to accept an over-the-air update. If you're unable to or, un or do not know how to uninstall those changes, it might be best to just return back to stock Android completely. If you're unaware of how to do that, be sure to check the, the description below this video. And I'll have a link to the full tutorial that will walk you through resetting your phone completely because it goes beyond just doing a factory reset and, fa and flashing the Google factory stock images to the Pixel and Pixel XL. But this will work if SuperSU is the only change you made to the phone or if SuperSU and TWRP is the only changes and you also reverted back to stock recovery.